and the Federal Capital Territory Emergency Management Department says no life was lost in the Karu Market fire, explaining that lack of assets caused the delay in putting out the fire that engulfed Karu Old Market in Abuja. The Acting Director General of the Department, Florence Wenegeme, said this, uh, said that the fire started around 6.30 p.m., but was brought under control by the combined team of emergency management departments, FCT Fire Service, Federal Fire Service, and Julius Berger Fire Service. She said that the efforts prevented the fire from spreading to surrounding houses. And with the latest unfortunate incidents in the Federal Capital Territory, ranging from floods to fire accidents and now collapsed buildings, it has been a tough period for emergency management officers. We we'll have in the studios the Acting Director General of the Emergency Management Department of the Federal Capital Territory, Florence Wenegeme. Thanks so very much, Florence, for joining us on Newsnight. Very good evening and thank you for having me. Yeah, tell us, why we seen this deluge of uh, disasters. The, the first one was uh, the usual uh, flood, you know, uh, at uh, the popular estate, the trade mall estate and the rest. And mm -hmm. uh, for decades now, your department and the capital uh, city administration seems helpless in redressing that uh, annual you know, flooding? Well, I wouldn't say we are helpless. The truth is that we have solution for whatever is happening in Tredmore Estate. But the truth is that um, there is a constraint because the association of Tredmore Estate took uh, the FCT administration to court and uh, there's a court injunction for now. Uh, as soon as that is over, definitely you can be rest assured that that court injunction is because the administration wants to go there and pull down some of the buildings and the rest, which you gave approval to, to the uh, developer of that estate. Well, there isn't any approval for the development of that estate. I want you to know this today. Um, uh, the truth is that the estate, the, the, uh, the parcel of land was allocated by Abuja Municipal Area Council, but the approval of building that estate was not given. You can, you, we, we, we were in touch with them. As at last year, they were invited. They never produced any document showing that there was an approval to build, that, to develop that estate. That is one. Secondly, private developers, what happened was that they were, they were notified that that area is a phase, either phase four or phase, phase five of the development of the FCT. Like we have Lokogoma, which is phase three. Development is yet to get there. But developers agreed that they were going to provide all the necessary infrastructures before moving in. Moving in. And that was it. But immediately they finished selling the houses, most of them, just, I mean, they disappeared, they disappeared into and that was it. So that of Tredmore, Tredmore has at last year was declared a disaster zone. Our going there last week, or rather this week, we went there on humanitarian grounds because we cannot be in the FCT and, and residents of FCT will be suffering with all our hands because of court injunction. No, we decided to go there just in case just in case we have to carry out rescue operations. And knowing the kind of person the, our Honorable Minister is, he has the interest of the residents of FCT at heart. There's no way we fold our hands and say that because there's a court injunction, we will not go there for rescue operations. No, we quickly swung into okay. action okay, and I gave them the necessary adequate support. advice, the necessary support and advise them accordingly to evacuate isn't that Such the, location that, that is the, in order to save lives and that, properties. That is, that is the responsibility of uh, any good government. So uh, should we Thank be you. saying kudos there? Thank Let's move on much. to the car, you know, fire disaster, the building collapse and the rest. What kind of measures and, uh, you know, uh, collaborative uh, stake uh, holding 
uh, meetings do you have to check me that? Access road, we had, you know, prevented uh, yeah. the fire services yes. from uh, getting clear, there. Let me clear, yeah. quickly clear one issue there. The part of the market that was engulfed by the fire is not the real market. This is, a, it was an unorganized market. We call it an illegal settlement. It was an illegal market slash settlement. We, uh, Karu Market is being developed. They are rebuilding it with, that is well planned. It is an organized market now that they are putting up. So the structures are ongoing. We have fire service there. We have the police station. We have a bank and we have a clinic there. So the, the, all, the part that was that we had the fire outbreak makeshift uh, market yes. until the building yes, is complete. The people, nobody, nobody the, directed them to go the there. The people must the sustain bad. themselves. You Are you aware people, of that? We yes. were not aware You're of that. You are talking of sustainability here so now. They did people was, still go to collect taxes from them, don't no, they? No, nobody goes there for taxes because it is an illegal settlement, an organized market. They move there on their own, and that was what happened. So on arrival, we had enough firefighting trucks. We have good hands. We had enough water. Like I said, we have a fire uh, service uh, station, out station there. And we had everything put in place. And Julius Vega, out of its own corporate social responsibility, gave us three firefighting trucks. So we had enough. The problem there was that being an illegal settlement, there was no road. They, oh, it's a shanty. They had batches, all uh, temporary structures that they have mounted so there. what has so, so what, what has your we broke through the fence and we we're able to pass the um, the, 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 the present the, of uh, exactly, the newly exactly. uh, being built so uh, we passed track. through there and mm. that was why we were able to curtail the fire and stopped it from spreading to the ho neighboring houses there that was it okay so, okay I mean, what, what measures have you taken further now to clear? Are you clearing those chances? Are you going to organize them and the rest? Well, well, In consideration of the people's sustainability yes. or sustenance? On the directives of the Honorable Minister of FCT, one, we, we have been there for a post-disaster assessment. We are going to get a complete data, statistics of the people that were affected and see the palliatives that we are going to do, that is one. Secondly, we are clearing that illegal settlement. We are clearing it. Those of them that have been able to acquire shops in the new market will move into the market immediately because infrastructures have been provided there. They have water. So they if have the shops light, have been completed, have... why the so delay in allocating them? It has been allocated. But you can trust our people, we've been going there on sensitization, trying to make sure they don't, they, they discontinue using that illegal market. We went there on sensitization, the Department of uh, Environmental Protection Board, when they, some of them have been picked up. Just like you were talking about Okada of, just of recent few minutes ago, we have the VIOs, they go around to pick the Okadas. Um, environmental Protection Board, we have our officers, they go around to pick them up. It's, it's a big challenge, but it's not overwhelming. It's not at all. We are still fighting and think, definitely we're going that's, to clear that. That's very heartwarming to hear yes. that it is not uh, overwhelming. Nothing should really overwhelm exactly. governments, you know, well, in discharging well. its it, responsibilities exactly. uh, to the people. And when the people hear of palliative goods, that uh, government is going to yes, uh, give the victims. It's yeah, already on. yeah, give the victims. But we hope that it's not the usual palliatives of uh, no duels, no means, no, and no all those such no, and such waters and the rest. Traders. These are traders, All and right. the Honorable Minister is highly concerned. He, he really sympathized with them. Mm. And that was why I was there throughout the night myself. Mm. The coordinator was mm. there. So, All right. I mean, he Thank was you. well represented. Thank you and so the much. People, we are very happy yeah. that we were there. And they are so happy that we have a fire station, mm. a clinic, a bank, and other within important the, infrastructures within, within the, the yeah. new market that is coming up. Okay, beautiful. The access road is well designed. Water hydrants is available. So on that very day, we were able to break through the walls. 
and we were able to put out the fire. You said, we never went back to Asokoro for for, uh, for water. Yeah, you we said we had enough. You said we so. Had you said and, so earlier. And enough fire Thanks. Trucks. Yeah. Thanks yes. so very much uh, for what you're doing for residents of the Federal Capital Territory, uh, uh, Florence. <laughs> yeah. When what again, man, about the building. acting director general. Federal Capital Territory Emergency Management Department. We don't have all the time in okay. the world. You want to pay for it? We'll keep you here for another 15 minutes, right? Thank you very much for all having right. me. All right.